Please welcome Jake Johnson. <laughs> you know, no, it's I don't take it the wrong way. Yeah. I just, you know, think it's the responsible thing to do. Well, I saw you hug Emily Blunt. So yeah, I was coming you, in for mine. You know what, uh, Emily's. <laughs> Emily used to live right across the street from me, so there is some kind of a rule that if you were neighbors... Then you can do it. Yeah, you I can also look like a guy with corona. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't hug me, right? I'm like, if I saw me at an airport, I'd be like, that kid's got corona. How have you been reacting to this? Positively? Negatively? What? I don't feel scared of it. You don't feel scared at all? No. You don't I mean, worry I feel scared it. a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, are you scared of corona? You know, listen, I, you know, I've been washing my hands and yeah. trying to Same do this, me? but no, I don't think about it a yeah. lot. Well, I had, uh, I mean, we're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right <laughs> This would exactly. be the dumbest place to go. I'm, like, really afraid of corona. <laughs> um, well, I, I actually <laughs> have to say, and I've been talking about this, is I love, the, I, uh, there, I know there are always some good things about bad things, but right. I feel like, like the audiences the last couple of weeks really want to be here. <laughs> That's, they're so risking their lives. It's nice. I like yeah. that sacrifice yeah. that you guys well, have made. Well, thank you yeah. for the <laughs> Well, actually, it's... Thank you to the sacrifice of your parents and your grandparents. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for killing your elders for us. Because <laughs> you guys will probably be fine. You, 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 gone. The rest fine. Well, yeah. I, I had a thing where one of the reasons I'm not afraid now was uh, about a few years ago, I was doing a press tour with Damon Wayans Jr. Uh huh. And it's when bed bugs were a big thing. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, we were all terrified. Yeah, of and bed I lived bugs. in New York for a while and I was really scared of them. Mm -hmm. And I woke up in a hotel and I had bumps all over my face. Oh, no. Yeah, all over my forehead, my body, and they were bites. And it was disgusting. So you got bed bugged. That's what I thought. Oh. And so, well, I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> so I see Damon, and he goes, but you said you got bed bugs. Yeah. And that's disgusting because it's <laughs> contagious, man. Yeah. And everywhere you go, those little bugs are going to jump off and get on everything. That's right, yeah. So I was in Phoenix. I had to get on a plane. I felt like the biggest creep in the world on the plane. <laughs> Everybody looked at me like I'm walking around with bugs. <laughs> I get home. We just had young kids. I had to call my wife and say, like, honey, I got really bad news. I got bed bugs. And she's like, you're not coming in the house. <laughs> so on our driveway, I strip. This is true. Totally naked. <laughs> I threw away all of my luggage. <laughs> she gave me essentially like a tarp and underpants. Wait a minute. I yeah. assume you hid from your neighbors. L I was living right in Los Feliz, not you, that high. Oh, OK. Well, you, I was also furious, Jimmy. You, <laughs> I ripped off my clothes. You disrobed yeah. angrily. And my underpants, because I didn't know where those bugs were. Uh-huh. The socks, the pants. I was on the sidewalk. I didn't actually care who saw me. And you checked your body. I didn't see anything but bumps. Mm-hmm. But I knew it was bed bugs, and they could have been in my hair. If she had an electric razor, I would have shaved. <laughs> and I was on New Girl in the time. It wouldn't have been a great moment. Yeah, with bad but continuity. I yeah. was genuinely furious. She throws a little tarp on me with some underpants. I drive to urgent care. <laughs> I get to the doctor, and I go, hey, doc, what's going on? He goes, you tell me. And I go, I got bed bugs, man, and I need some sort of cream to kill them because I got young kids. Yeah. And he goes, you don't have bed bugs, you idiot. This is a food allergy. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm just taking it easy Wait right now with Corona. What were you allergic to? I'm allergic to wheat and dairy, and the whole press tour, I had beer and pizza. Also. <laughs> <laughs> so I went home, I was going to get my luggage, and it was in the disgusting trash, and I'm like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> did you pull it out, or no, did you leave it there? You left it there. Well, I was in such like a furious mood when I took it all off. That's when you know you've made it, when you can throw your luggage away and not go back <laughs> in to get it. That's true. When did you move to Los Angeles? 2004. And you moved from Chicago, right? Oh, yeah, Chicago to New York to here, to about two blocks from here. OK. Oh, yeah, oh. Las so you, Palmas. Oh, wow, right. That is yeah. right down the block. So right yeah. down the block. It was yeah. very Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not a great area. No, it's, it's not. And I actually got robbed one night. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was helping my buddy move, a guy named Eric Edelstein. And I was sitting outside. He, we did all the moving in an old convertible. So I was just sitting outside the convertible. We were packing it up. And I was on my flip phone. And three guys walked by. And I knew you can sense in the air when you're in trouble. Mm hmm So I was like, damn it. <laughs> this isn't looking good for old Jakester. <laughs> so one guy walks up, and if he said, give me your money, I would have done it. Uh -huh. I was broke. You know, I probably had 15 bucks. If he said, give me your wallet, I would have done it. But the kid said, give me your junk. <laughs> that was my reaction. Your genitals? <laughs> no. Oh. OK, that wasn't my reaction. Oh. 
Um, no, I didn't think he said. I didn't think he was robbing me from my genitals. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> They're not impressive <laughs> enough, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm like, you want to rob me from my genitals? <laughs> he wanted what then? So he meant like my phone, my wallet. He meant that as junk. Oh, that's what I. So I go because I go what? And he goes, you're junk. And I go, I don't have any junk. And he goes, your phone, man. Give me your phone. And I, he just called it junk. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> And He's it, insulted you. And yeah. it meant a lot to me. <laughs> so I went like, oh, man, I wish you didn't call it junk. <laughs> You're not going to value it. It means a lot to me. It's an old flip phone. <laughs> and I just met Bob Odenkirk, the great Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Through my friend Derek Waters. And I got his phone number. I did the thing at the bar where I just moved to LA and I did like, Bob, we should exchange. Uh -huh. And Bob, being a nice guy, was like, sure, but don't ever call me. Yeah. <laughs> so. I couldn't give him my phone because I had Bob's thing, oh so I said no. So I ended up scrapping with three guys. Really? Uh, for a flip phone. Over Bob Odenkirk's phone number? For Bob Odenkirk. I didn't win the fight. Are you, did they take the phone? They didn't because my buddy walked out as I was screaming. When I say I got into it with him, it wasn't like got into it. It was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. And he hears my screaming <laughs> and comes out and goes, hey! But the sun being behind him, and he's about 6'6", six, six, he's an actor, Eric Edelstein, he looked about 100 feet tall. <laughs> and he had a hammer in his hand from moving that looked like, an, like a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> he goes like, hey! But the three guys ran away oh, and wow. saved my phone. Oh, and did it yeah. pay off with Bob? <laughs> No, not really. Oh, not really. <laughs> I bet you could have got Bob's number from Derek, though, you know? <laughs> I could have. I could have. It was them calling it junk, which really got Have me. you ever stolen anything yourself? Well, I mean, <laughs> that's complicated. But I would say yes, but I have been arrested for, I was accused of stealing something that I didn't steal. Oh, what was that? My buddy Billy and I were. It was right after high school, and we used to climb roofs and have, like, big talks. Mm -hmm. Just hanging out kind of nice. <laughs> OK. Sounds way weirder now. Yeah. If we were in a bar, it wouldn't seem that weird. OK. But we'd just, like, sit on a roof and talk it out. So we climbed this roof. We're hanging out. We're talking. And we got in one of those 18-year-old stupid talks. And the talk was, if the world was flat and you had great vision and could see everything, would there be less wars? You guys were high? <laughs> Who can remember? <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't have anything on us. Uh huh. And so we had this big goofy talk, and afterwards we're both like, all right, let's get going. We're walking back down the fire escape, and there's a bunch of cops, and they pull the guns on us, throw us against a wall, throw us in the two different cop cars, wow. handcuff me to a wall where I'm like this. Mm. A cop comes in to investigate, and he goes, you know, there's been a bunch of burglaries right where you were, son. And I go, oh. <laughs> and he goes, so what, what were you doing up there? And I go, my buddy and I were having a talk. <laughs> and he goes, oh, really? I go, yeah. And he goes, what was that talk about? <laughs> and I didn't want to say yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, you know, we're just talking about stuff. So he goes, oh, yeah, what were you talking about, chief? And I go, if the world were flat, <laughs> and you could see everyone, would there be less wars? <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Billy was saying the same thing in another interrogation room. When the cops talked and came back, I've never had a man look at me with so much disgust. <laughs> go, get out of here. Go, go. <laughs> Come on, wow. Yeah. You've had a rough go of it. I'm glad you're yeah. OK. But it's all, I did it. <laughs> it's all your it's fault. It's all my Absolutely. fault. Absolutely. Well, it's very good to see you. You too. Uh, watch Stumptown. This, it, it's on, not this Wednesday, it's as in following. tomorrow, yeah. returns next Wednesday here on ABC. Jake Johnson, everybody. We'll be right back with Christina Aguilera. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.